Well, I'm I'm reprising the role of River from the TV series. My character is sort of like the the kid on the ship. Um, she is a psychic with other special abilities that's been um, smuggled out of a government institution where they were doing experiments on her, and um, her brother has stolen her from the government and taken her to stay on this ship with the rest of this crew and. Uh, she and her brother have to figure out a way to f to fit in and to do a job on the ship so that they can stay on and do their part to be part of the team. Great. So, um, after many years, there's a movie. How, how do you feel about yes. this coming together again with the cast? And the We're thrilled. We waited for a long time after this after the TV series was cancelled to find a way to keep telling the story, and we didn't know what Joss would, would do with it. We, we thought maybe we'd move to a different to a different uh, network or maybe we'd do a mini series on TV but then uh, when we found out we were going to be doing a feature we were so excited and now that it's finally happened you know, we're, we're out of our minds we're so proud and ready for this to come out speaking of, uh, about that what would you prefer another series or a movie well you know um, it's hard because we had so much fun being together every day, and you know how how a, a series. When you're on a series, you know you're going to do the same thing every day, and you go to work, and you have your parking spot, and and you go to the same sound stages, and you get really close. But on on the other hand, it's sort of a false sense of security because uh, from the moment we started doing the show, from the moment it started airing, we had to worry about numbers and who's watching it and who likes it and who doesn't, how the, how the studio feels, and it's very stressful trying to, you know, uh, keep the show going. Um, whereas when we did the film, we were kind of left alone for three months to do our thing, and, and now we just have to let it go and see what happens. So it's, it's I would say it's less stressful and and safer to do this to do another film and and you know universal has loved us so much and really nurtured us more than we were nurtured when we did the series it was really really nice really fun you could tell they they, they believed in us and, and really let us do what we wanted okay. you're playing a, uh, a psychic so yes. how was it to get back into that role Oh, I was I was nervous because I hadn't done it in so long. None of us had done our roles in a long time, and I didn't know um, if I was going to find the same way of doing it that I did from the series. But as soon as we all came together for our first read-through, um, everyone was exactly the same. Everybody had the same voice, the same way of speaking, and it was like we had never left. It was it was really easy and comfortable. The movie is much more focused on, on your character than the TV series was. Uh, yes. <laughs> I was I was shocked. I didn't think I was going to have a big part in the movie at all. I, when I read the the original uh, script for the film, I wondered how the rest of the cast would feel about me being able to handle it. You know, I didn't know if they since I'm the new kid, the least experienced. I thought, oh, maybe they'll be worried I can't hold my own. But I worked really hard, and Joss believed in me, and really, you know, helped me get through. I was thrilled with the role. Yes. <laughs> yes, I worked really hard. Mm -hmm. Are you still doing ballet? Um, I I do on and off. When I'm not working on something, I, I try to, to get back in shape. It's really hard. You, know, you get back in shape, and then you book something. You can't go to class every day. and um, Mostly to just stay in shape, I go to the gym and do things like yoga and Pilates. But um, I'm always dreaming of getting back in shape and going to class at least once a day. Has this helped uh, during the, the shooting of Oh, I think it helped a lot. I think it helped a lot. It, it, um, martial arts is really, really different, though, from ballet. I, I can sort of mimic shapes and ways of moving, but I really had to work on getting faster and stronger. Dancers are much more fluid and, and light, and, and uh, they have different muscle structure. So it took me a long time to build up the different, you know, the, the different muscle tone and and move differently, but I think it definitely helped. Great. <laughs> Did you ever think that after the cancellation of the series that you, that you could act River again? 
I had a feeling just because Josh promised us that he would figure something out for us to, to be able to play our roles again. So I never gave up, and and he never let us give up. He, he would always, um, you know, come to us every few months and say, "I haven't forgotten. I'm still working on it." So. So what was more exciting, the work for the series or the movie? Oh. Well, I, you know, the thing about the series was that it was my first job, so it was extremely exciting because I didn't know anything about how it was going to be, what it was like to be on a TV show. So uh, that was a thrill every day, and I was really nervous every day and the unexpected, not knowing how to behave. But then again, the, the movie was my first lead in a movie, so that was really exciting too, and, it, and I got to train and, and do the martial arts. and. And we were on this huge soundstage on Universal a lot, and, and it was it was exciting. So it's hard to say which one I liked better. They were very different. Okay. Do you like science fiction generally? I do. You know, I grew up. Um, one of my favorite shows when I was a kid was Star Trek: The Next Generation. <laughs> I was uh, I had a really hard time sleeping when I was little, and that was the only thing on late at night. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I run a Star Trek web website in Germany. Oh, you do. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen every episode. I love it. Yeah, Captain Picard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, great. Um, so finally, some words to your fans. Oh, there's no, there's no way that I could thank them enough for what they've done to support us and keep us going and make us feel loved. You know, when the series was canceled, we were heartbroken and we couldn't believe. I remember when it when it first happened that um, our fans wouldn't let it die. They kept writing in, they kept talking to us, they kept encouraging us and saying, no, we're going to, they did campaigns, they, they, they sent flyers, they did everything they could to try to keep us alive. And so, in a way, you know, we did this movie for them because they wouldn't let go. And their support is, is incredibly valuable to us. So I just want to say thank you and, and we hope that you love the movie as much as we love making it for you. Thank you very much. Thank you.